This video is for the nervous wedding photographer. For those who struggle to sleep the night before a wedding, who need to double check, triple check, and check again that they've got all the gear that they need. For those fighting a constant battle, wondering if they're good enough. For those feeling the weight and the pressure and significance of what they're doing. For those worried if they'll be able to think of ideas on the spot and put people at ease. What if my mind goes blank? What if my gear fails? What if I miss these moments that are never gonna happen again? What if I take up too much of my couple's time or get in the way? There's so much to think about when it comes to wedding photography, not to mention the battle with your own head and your own emotions. We've definitely felt these feelings over the last 10 years photographing weddings. First up, we wanna credit Faisal Westcott. He's a street photographer from America, and he created a similar video for street photographers. So credit where credit is due. And we wanted to thank him for inspiring this video. We wanted to make this video because feeling nervous when it comes to wedding photography is such a common feeling. And actually, it's not a bad thing. If you're feeling nervous, it means you care. And that's pretty important. A wedding day is usually a once-off in somebody's life. So it's important to place the significance and importance on it. So you're feeling nervous before a wedding day. One thing to ask yourself is why are you feeling nervous? And what are you most nervous about? Is it that you're worried about time? Or you're not feeling prepared enough? Is imposter syndrome rearing its ugly head? Do you feel like you're not experienced enough? If you can identify why you're feeling nervous, this can be a step in the right direction to figuring out what you can control. In this video, we're sharing three takeaways to help with nervousness. So let's start with feeling nervous around time pressure. There's a lot happening on a wedding day and it can really fly by quickly. So if the timing and stress of the day is what's making you most nervous, it's important to be as prepared as you possibly can be. So how do you do this? For us, this looks like having clear communication with our couples ahead of time. We're talking through the day with them, we're putting together a run sheet, we're getting all the key details of addresses and timings, and we're really getting across it so we have a good idea of how the day will flow. Of course, wedding days don't always go 100% to plan and to perfect time, but if you have a good idea, a clear idea of what the day is gonna look like, that's really gonna help you go into the day knowing what to expect. Before the day, we're also asking our couple questions like, is there anything unusual or different? Is there anything we need to be ready for? We're trying to get as much information as we can to build a clear picture of the day so that we're ready, we're prepared. Of course, being a good photographer, it's important to be adaptable and to be ready to pivot and, and capture just any, you know, thing that maybe isn't planned as well. But knowing what is planned is really important and having a clear picture of that will really help you feel like you have a good idea of what the day will look like and help you feel more prepared and put your nerves at ease. If you've never put a run sheet together, we've actually created a run sheet template that you can download for free. It's a Canva template, it's super easy to use and we'll remind you about it at the end of this video. If you're unsure about the flow of the ceremony, one thing you could do pre-ceremony is check in with the celebrant or officiant or the minister if it's a church ceremony and just ask them what the flow of the ceremony would look like. When they're doing the kiss or signing, um, when important moments might happen, that will just give you a clear idea of the flow and you'll be a lot more prepared. Being prepared also comes down to making sure you're giving yourself enough time on the day, working out where you need to be and when, and then adding in a buffer in case there's traffic or anything like that. It's, you know, setting your alarm early enough so that you don't have a rush morning. It's thinking ahead to have, you know, your food organized, your snacks organized. It's things like that being as prepared before the day or before you need to start just to really set yourself up really well. For us, we're making sure that all our gear is ready and packed the day before, you know, all our batteries are charged. Our, we know our cards are formatted and ready to go. And yeah, our bags are packed and ready to walk out the door. So the next thing we want to touch on is imposter syndrome and as humans we've probably all faced this throughout our life and for me personally um, feelings of not feeling good enough uh, can rear its ugly head at times and uh, so this is this might be something you're feeling nervous about. So if you're having these feelings of not feeling good enough or imposter syndrome kicks in something you can do is to remind yourself that the couple have invested in you, uh, which means that they want you there. They've chosen you because they love your unique perspective and how you capture things and just, you know, taking some confidence from that, but also that you have like, unless this is your first wedding, you can draw confidence from, from that you have done this before and that you have photographed a wedding and you've had a happy client before. So just, you know, taking some confidence from what you've already achieved can really help as well. I think as creatives, it's really easy to be really critical and harsh on ourselves. And, you know, even that comparison trap of measuring ourselves against what others are creating and, um, 
you know, that can be really hard. But just trusting in yourself and knowing that you'll show up and do the best job that you possibly can. So something I need to be reminded of a lot is just to be kind and gentle to myself. You know, these negative feelings and negative thoughts about not feeling good enough um, or not worthy enough can really take a toll on you. So just being kind and gentle will really go a long way to kind of ease those feelings and ease that nervousness. Yeah, just taking a minute to remember that this is your journey and that you're running your own race. It's okay if you're not quite where you wanna be yet, but just trusting in the process and giving yourself grace, showing up, just doing the best job that you can possibly do is just is all that you can ask of yourself. If you are feeling nervous that you're taking up too much of your couple's time, it's really important to remember that you're not a burden. They have asked you to be here and they're trusting you to capture them on their wedding day. If you're worried about taking up too much time and feeling nervous, then it's important to go in with a plan. Know the key shots that you need to get and work through them efficiently. If you find that you have more time, that's awesome. You can get a bit more creative. But if your couple do just really wanna get back to the party and they don't wanna to spend too much time maybe taking photos, that's okay too. As long as you know what you've needed to get and you've been able to do that, then that is the objective of that time. So go easy on yourself. You've got this. So moving on to our third point. If you're feeling nervous about your lack of experience, there's something really practical you can do about this. And it's simply to gain more experience. Get to know your gear, pick up your camera every day if you need to, like learn the ins and outs, practice with friends, family, you know, go out, shoot photos, you know, build up experience. You can ask a second shoot or associate shoot for other photographers, seek out a mentor, connect with others in the industry. There are so many things to be building your experience. You can invest in your education. There are so many online courses and communities you can get involved in, or you can enroll in some classes, um, have some hands-on in-person practical learning. So the key takeaway here is to take action. Just get out there, practice, get better, and try new things. And talking about education, we wanted to quickly mention our online course, The Authentic Posing Course. If posing couples on a wedding day or in a couple shoot is something that makes you nervous, then this course is just what you need. We've developed a clear framework that can help you walk into any photo session feeling calm, confident, and in control. If you're worried about your mind going blank at the start of a photo session, we've got you covered. If you'd like to learn more, we'll pop a link to our course in the description. You can also check out the free Canva run sheet template that we've created to help you feel more prepared before a wedding day. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.